I'm Dr. Stephanie Valente. I will be talking about breast cancer. So breast cancer can present in a lot of different ways. Um, and on what you're going to find out is that you're going to get abnormal mammograms. So a mass, asymmetry, calcifications. The core needle biopsy that's performed for any of the above is going to give the diagnosis of breast cancer. Diagnosis of breast cancer, usually three main types, ductal carcinoma in site two, invasive ductal cancer, or invasive lobular cancer. On a core needle biopsy, breast cancer receptors can be identified. So this is what's called the tumor biology. What's, what type of cancer is it? So the three receptors that we test for are estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor, or the HER2 receptor. Let's look at this uh, uh, cell on the right. So this is a normal breast cell. So the best way to think about it is that a normal breast cell has an estrogen receptor and a progesterone receptor. The hormones in your body, estrogen and progesterone, float around in your bloodstream, attached to this breast cell, and that's what tells the cell to grow and divide. So this red cell over here is a cancer cell. So when we look at this cancer cell, we say, does your cancer cell have the estrogen and progesterone receptor? Meaning, is that cancer cell growing and dividing in response to estrogen? Or does it, has it lost those receptors and it's kind of growing with a mind of its own? HER2 receptors usually aren't found on um, breast cells or cancer cells. So if it has that receptor, it essentially has kind of developed a way to grow and divide on its own. So a normal breast cell is estrogen positive, progesterone receptor positive, HER2 negative. Ductal carcinoma in site two. So let's go over this first. This is stage zero breast cancer. So this is breast cancer that has not invaded through the basement membrane. It usually presents as branching calcifications on a mammogram. Paget's disease of the breast is actually DCIS of the nipple. It presents as a scaling lesion of the nipple, almost looks like nipple crusting. Uh, somebody complains that there's flaking of their nipple that just doesn't seem to go away when they wash it. Um, but that's ductal carcinoma in situ of the nipple is Paget's disease. For DCIS, we do not test HER2. We test for estrogen receptor and progesterone receptor. How do we treat DCIS? Well, DCIS is treated just like any cancer. The patient has two options for removing DCIS from their breast. First, they can have a lumpectomy. A lumpectomy, the margins needed for DCIS are two millimeters all the way around. After a lumpectomy, the patient heals up for about a month and then receives whole breast radiation. Radiation helps prevent it from coming back. A lumpectomy for DCIS, you don't need to do a sentinel node biopsy. And so if you think about it, by definition, ductal carcinoma in situ hasn't gotten outside the milk duct. So if it's not outside the milk duct, it shouldn't be traveling to the lymph nodes. So there's no need to do a sentinel lymph node biopsy. And if you're performing a lumpectomy and it's found on final pathology that what you thought was ductal carcinoma in site 2 is invasive cancer, you can always go back because you have the breast. You can identify the drainage pattern um, of the breast and perform a sentinel node at a second procedure. But it normally should not be performed at the at original lumpectomy. The other option for DCIS treatment is a mastectomy. So no matter how big or small DCIS, even though it's stage zero, a woman always has an option for how they choose to get rid of their breast cancer or DCIS. So a lumpectomy or a mastectomy could be indicated. Um, with a mastectomy, you are removing the breast. So even though it's DCIS, shouldn't be in the sentinel nodes, um, you're essentially removing the drainage pattern of the breast so that on final pathology, if invasive cancers found, you can't really go back and do a sentinel lymph node biopsy. So a sentinel lymph node biopsy is indicated for a mastectomy for DCIS. And the overall risk of, of upgrading to an invasive cancer for DCIS is about 30%. Ultimately, 
after removal of DCIS, because it's not invasive, the recommendation would be to take endocrine therapy. And so endocrine therapy would be, you know, your tamoxifen if you're premenopausal, um, an aromatase inhibitor if you're postmenopausal, and that helps decrease your risk of getting a breast cancer in that same breast or the contralateral breast.